Welcome back Mechanical AI. Did you know that data modeling helps to visualize the representation of data and enforces various rules on that data? This makes us wonder, what is database modeling? Before we jump in, check out the previous part of the series to learn about what data independence is. Now, data modeling, as the name suggests, is the process of creating a data model for the data to be stored in a database. It is a conceptual representation of data objects, the association between different data objects and their rules. It offers the following benefits. First, data modeling allows you to normalize your data and to define it in terms of what it is and what attributes it can process. Data modeling also provides the tools to query the database and derive reports from it. Second, by modeling the data in each system, you can see relationships, redundancies, resolve discrepancies, and integrate disparate systems so they can work together. Third and last, data modeling helps make better decisions about data warehousing and repositories. There are three main phases in database modeling. First comes the conceptual design phase. Here, a high-level conceptual data model is used wherein the basic data modeling operations can be deployed to define the high-level user operations. Second comes the logical design phase. This phase gives us a result of relation schemas and removes superfluity using normalization. Third and last is the physical design phase. In this phase, we implement the database design. Here, a DBMS must be chosen and SQL clauses are written to help in creating the database. Also, the indexes and integrity constraints are defined. After all this, the data is added and the database can finally be tested. Hence, we first saw what data modeling and its benefits are and then went on to see what different phases of data modeling are. So like, subscribe and comment with your feedback to help us make better videos. Thanks for watching. Also, thanks a lot for those constructive comments. You help the channel grow. So, here are the top Mechanical EIs of our last videos. In the next episode of Mechanical EI, find out what an entity relationship model is.